Hi everybody, Coach Lou with the Water Polo Club here with the latest installment of our workout videos. Uh, in today's workout we're going to do some ball handling skills, kind of build off of some of our previous drills that we've had with Coach Beto and Coach Nicole. Uh, the first drill uh, you can do, you can do this outside, you can do this inside in your living room, anywhere where you have space and you know, a chair to sit down or a couch and be able to pass this ball. First what we're going to do is just some very simple hand-to-hand -hand passing. You're going to start off with your hands shoulder width apart. The key here is to make sure your hands, your fingertips make contact with the ball and rotate back. You want that wrist to come back and follow through. Snap the wrist as we like to say when we pass the ball. When we hold the ball in our hand, we want to make sure the ball is sitting in our fingertips, sitting in our palm. You're not holding the ball like this. You're letting the ball sit in your palm and you want to move your wrist. When we first start doing this drill, start off nice and slow, keep your eye on the ball, see the ball, hit your hand, catch the ball, pause for a second, and then pass. Pause for a second, and then pass. As you slowly start to get better with this and more comfortable, you can go from not looking at the ball, maybe you can do this while you're watching TV, or you're watching a video on YouTube, and you're just trying to pass the time a little bit, work on doing this give yourself a number start off with maybe 20 try to do 20 in a row if you drop the ball for whatever reason start over and go back another progression is to pass the ball a little bit faster and again you're trying to make sure you're comfortable with the ball catch it pass catch it and pass catch it and pass catch it and pass your fingertips should be slightly relaxed fingers nice and open that way you don't injure yourself, jam a finger, or worse. Um, one little trick that I like to do when I was a kid growing up and doing this drill is if I was watching TV and I saw that a commercial would come on, that would be my time to try to do these passes. I would try to give myself a high score, say 100 passes before my show came back on. And then the next commercial break, try to beat that score uh, and just kind of progress that way. Okay, so all we're doing is this, nice and easy, very simple. Our next drill, we're going to go a little bit wider. So now instead of going shoulder width apart, you're going to go a little bit farther away. And again, same thing, give yourself nice, easy passing. You're just passing the ball to yourself. Start off again just by looking at the ball. And then slowly progress where you're not, paying, you're not looking at the ball and you're trusting that your hands are being able to make the catch. Again, start off nice and slow. And as you get more comfortable and more proficient, try to speed it up. Give yourself those limits, challenge yourself. Maybe say, okay, I'm gonna do three sets of 20 passes. And once that becomes too easy, Add some more passes to it. Go 25, 30, 50, 100, whatever your imagination is taking you to. For our more advanced kids, our older kids, give yourself a, a time limit. Start off 30 seconds. Do this for 30 seconds. Once this becomes comfortable or too easy, build up, go to 45 seconds and to a minute. The longer you do this, the more you'll kind of feel a little bit in your shoulders. This is a great arm workout and a great pass workout as well. Okay, for our next skill, what we're going to do is we're going to pass the ball up in the air. Uh, you can do this either uh, one hand at a time or you can work on alternating hands. So very similar to a drill that we do in practice where it's a good leg drill where you're doing egg beater while you're passing at the same time. Here, we're doing this from a seated position. So to start off, again, ball up in the air and you're just going to pass the ball to yourself straight up in the air. Give yourself that follow through, snap that wrist. You want that ball to spin a little bit, make it easier to catch. And then you just switch hands, go to your non-dominant hand. Again, you can start off with a, give yourself a target number and maybe do 10 passes in a row before you add on. The other variations you can alternate. Give yourself that pass. And if you 
you screw up or you drop it, you make a mistake, start over. And you're just passing the ball up in the air. Pass the ball up in the air. At the end, you can give yourself a bit of a time limit. Maybe say to you 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. And then add time as things get easier. Okay, uh, our last skill for today um, is finger snapping or finger squeezing the ball. The goal here is to use your fingertips to squeeze the ball so the ball pops up in the air. Another way to think about this is you're snapping your fingers almost. You want to get that ball up in the air and spinning. So what this really works on is uh, fingertip strength, getting more comfortable with the ball in your fingertips and being able to be uh, more comfortable catching the ball and passing the ball as well, just using your fingertips at the end. So with the water polo ball, again, hands underneath the ball, and all you're trying to do is you want to bring your fingertips close together to each other like you're going to squeeze the ball. And as you get more proficient with this and you get a little bit faster, squeeze that hand a little bit faster, cause that ball to spin. Start off nice and easy, do a few, maybe 10 with your dominant hand, switch to your non-dominant hand. Repeat. Again, you're trying to squeeze the ball with your fingers, only with your fingers. So you want to bring those fingertips close together. Build up that fingertip strength. Build up that comfort level that you have just using your fingertips to pass the ball. As you get more proficient, feel free to add a time limit to this skill, this little drill here. Give yourself 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, and so on. And if you get super proficient, you can try to alternate hands, squeezing the ball. Squeeze those fingertips. And you just alternate, 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 alternate. If you do not have a water polo ball at home. You can use a smaller ball as well. Smaller balls can be a little bit trickier too. So maybe you have a smaller ball. This works as well. You can see the ball spin a little bit faster with a smaller ball. and bring those fingertips together. That is the key to this drill. Bring your fingertips together, get that ball spinning. And just in case you don't have any ball this size and you want something a little bit smaller or maybe you want a little bit more of a challenge, you can use a tennis ball or a baseball to create that spin. This one only. Again, all about using your fingertips to squeeze this ball. Okay, so that will do it for today's drills. Um, the key takeaway here is make sure you're using your wrist to pass the ball. Go a little bit farther once you get more comfortable doing it this way. And then with the finger squeeze drill, squeezing the ball, you want to bring those fingertips close together. To start off, give yourself uh, a certain number of passes you want to complete in a row. Start off with a small number add on as you get more comfortable, as it becomes easier. And then from there, for more experienced athletes, for our older athletes, start with the time limit. 
you were still the set number of time to be able to complete uh, these drills and then build on that time as you progress. Uh, challenge yourself, make a game out of it. You can do the ABC game, any kind of game you want to give yourself. Use your imagination. Give yourself different ideas on how to do any of these drills or any of the workouts that you've seen so far. If any of you have any questions, please feel free to shoot us an email. We'd be more than happy to answer your questions. Hope everyone is staying healthy. Hope everyone is staying safe. And we will see you next time. Take care. Have a good one.